<laughs> Saw, dude. Welcome to the first part of the worst tutorial series ever, where we recreate Flappy Bird. <laughs> first thing we're going to do is head into Godot 4.3 and make a beautiful new project, give it a really unique name, something like uh, Bird Wing Flapping game. Gonna click create and edit. Next, take a peek in the description and uh, you'll find my beautiful art skills down there. With our assets in here, the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and make a new scene with the character body 2D as the root. This will be our uh, player. I'm just gonna call it board. Uh, and then we'll need a sprite on that so you can actually see something and then a collision shape as well. I'm going to go ahead and set the bird sprite right there. Looking beautiful. Um, and then I'm going to add a collision shape to this as well. I'm just going to use a circle because that fits the best. Move it back a little bit and that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and save this as well. Next I'm going to attach a script and I'm not going to use a template because the template sucks. And from here, we don't need anything in the ready function. So I'm going to delete that, and then I'm going to delete this comment, because that's kind of useless. Um, the first thing we need to do is make it so that the bird can jump. So we need a couple variables. One for gravity, one for jump, strength. In our process function, we need to add the gravity to the y position of the player. So velocity.y plus equals gravity times delta. And then next, we want to check if we press the jump key. If we do, then we want to go ahead and change our velocity to the jump strength value. So I'm just going to set that to jump strength. And finally, we just need to call move and slide. And bada bang, bada boom, you have flappy bird movement. Next thing I'm going to do is make a 2D scene to just hold our game. That is 3D. I am freaking stupid. 2D scene, and then I'm going to call it game. Then I'm just going to grab the board down here, drop it somewhere in there that way we can see it. Run this. Select current. There you go. It does not work. Why? Because I have the memory loss of, of a... Of, I don't even know. Um, but anyways, we need to come to our project settings and to our input map and add a new action. This will just be called jump. Um, and then just add a key. That can be space. Or it can be W. Or it could be up arrow. Or it could be J for jump. Or if you really wanted to, you could also get fancy with it and <sighs> hold on let me plug in my controller actually I don't need to we can just do joypad button and then I'm just gonna uh, it's probably this one yeah there we go make it work for controllers too so there you go every possible jump key that anyone would ever want to use is now in here so that's a great feature for accessibility not that we care but I do alright with that now done we can run the game and you can see it falls we can jump looks kinda dumb though and that is because unlike Flappy Bird the bird doesn't freaking rotate and crap what is that how did I even do that that's a thing Huh, didn't realize that was a thing. Anyways, the bird doesn't rotate. Like when you jump, it should go woo, and then when you fall, it should go woo, 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 woo. So, uh, <coughs> so to do that, I'm just gonna come in here and say velocity.y. That's less than zero. That means we're probably moving up because Godot is kind of restart and then rotation degrees. That'll equal. Uh, lerp because we want it to be smooth um, so we're going to lerp it and then that'll be rotation degrees we're going to take it all the way down to 40 negative 45 and then I'm going to use a small value for the weight 0 0.05 should work 
uh, and then else I'm gonna do rotation you know screw that copy paste remove the negative sign from there bada bing bada boom it now works uh, some finishing touches before we continue I'm gonna come into project settings come to window change this to 19 80 by 1080 and then stretch mode set that to canvas items close out of that come to the bird in our game scene I'm gonna change the transform fun fact if you didn't know this you can do math in these input fields so I can do like 1920 divide that by 2 boom centered uh, 1080 divide that by 2 boom centered kind of it's not perfect but it works um, the next thing I'm gonna do is change the background color because it looks a little bit restarted right now so I'm gonna come down here and in the environment under rendering I'm gonna change that to a color that is sub <laughs> So here's a beautiful blue color that I definitely just got off the top of my head. Um, I did not look up a palette off of Google because I know color theory. I went for college for it. I went. So yeah, anyways, there's a nice color. We run the game. Everything works. This is shaping up to be the worst Flappy Bird clone ever. Uh, and the next one will probably, I don't know. Add pipes that like you can run into and crap. <sighs> After that, score system. Maybe add some clouds, sound effects. Uh, let's see, yeah, peace 